welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about spatial diversity and spatial multiplexing so basically we are going to understand about the difference between what is spatial diversity and what is spatial multiplexing we already know that diversity is a technique to improve the link reliability that is to in order to improve the performance of the link we use different diversity techniques one such technique is spatial diversity so here in any diversity any diversity technique we use several antennas to receive the same copy of the signal and we select the best of all so in case of spatial diversity if we consider the diagram shown in this picture we can see that we have two antennas antenna 1 and antenna 2 of these two antennas these two antennas are separated by a uh, by 5 to 10 radius that is the position of the antenna is different if one is located here the other one will be slightly at a different position so since the position is different the signals received by the these two antennas are also different if one undergoes a very deep fade the other the other signal might not undergo that much fade so there is an option to choose a better signal so that is spatial diversity when we come, come to when we come to the next one that is spatial multiplexing so what is spatial multiplexing in case of spatial multiplexing we do not send the same copy of the signal multiple times what we do over here is that in case of spatial multiplexing if we have a data 101 in case of spatial multiplexing we do not send the 101 the same signal again and again as what we do in spatial diversity for example in this particular case we can see that this in case of spatial diversity the same data is sent again and again that is multiple copies of the same data is sent but in case of multiplexing we do not do the same rather we send different portions of the data over different antennas so here we do not send one or one for over via all three antennas instead we send one zero and one over different antennas so this is similar to our ofdm technique where different portions of the signal are sent at the same time but each one is orthogonal to each other so by doing this we tend to increase the data rate so when we increase the data rate the link capacity also increases that is the important advantage of spatial multiplexing so basically spatial multiplexing helps us to improve the data rate as well as the link capacity of the system in case of spatial multiplexing a high data rate is multiplexed into several parallel streams as shown in the previous slide so a data is is multiple is sent via in the form of several parallel data streams so this is the advantage of spatial multiplexing i hope we have understood about spatial multiplexing and spatial diversity thank you